Welcome back to Words of Paradise, I'm your host Leon Isle, and I figure today we're going to take a quick break from the nerdy news coverage to cover some LGP nonsense. That's right, the LGBT are at again, throwing a huge fit about something going on in Tennessee, because the Tennessee governor is signing into law a bill that would state that teachers are not required to use preferred pronouns other than, you know, what the actual uh, sex by birth is, which frankly... I don't really see an issue with because if people are going to get so upset and uptight, oh, you didn't use my pronouns, guys, there's worse things that could happen in the world than people using words you don't like. Frankly, I've grown up in a time when teachers have used plenty of words that I don't like, mainly, you know, in school suspension or F or, you know, any of those other words, but uh, was it was it triggering? Uh, did I have some sort of mental breakdown when teachers use terminology I don't like? No, no, I didn't. Uh, you know, when teachers said things like, join the football team and be a man instead of, you know, participate in theater class, which is what I liked to do. Uh, yeah, no, I, I didn't get triggered. I just ignored them, moved on with my life. Once school is over, who cares? It's not like we're ever going to see those folk again, unless, you know, you become a teacher at that school. The point is, let's go over this article and see what Tennessee's got going on and why, uh, if you're looking to get out of some of those states like, you know, Colorado or California or any of those other awful states that starts with the C, then yeah, th this may be a good spot to go. Let's take a look here. Governor Lee signs bill saying teachers don't have to use students' preferred pronouns. And this is, uh, you know, posted, I guess, yesterday by the time we're looking at it. I guess if you're watching this tomorrow, it'll be two days ago. But, you know, still relatively new and interesting news. Nashville, Tennessee, the state legislature passed an avalanche of anti-LGBTQ plus bills this year, leading to frustration from community it affects. Look, no one passed any anti-LGBTQ bills. You want to know why? Because everyone all has the same rights. Show me a right that, you know, regular, you know, let's insist, despite that being such a stupid word, show me a right that cis people have that anyone in the LGBT community doesn't have based on the fact that, you know, they are human rights. You can't name them because they don't exist. Everyone's got the same rights. Let's be realistic here. So these, uh, these laws, these bills that are being passed and affected, a, a lot of them have to do with keeping this sort of stuff away from children. And I'll be the one to say it, and I know lots of other folks said as well, why do you care so much about having this stuff around children? Like, I'm not gonna say all LGBTQ people are pedos. No, that's obviously insane. That's like saying that, you know, oh, all priests are gonna touch little boys. I don't have that idea either. There's no way you can make a blanket statement about an entire group of people. However, it is strange that when laws are passed to, you know, keep kids out of it, then they get upset. It don't it doesn't make your crew look good. Like even if you don't have any inclination or intentions of doing anything negative to kids, if you get upset about the fact that uh, you know children aren't allowed to participate in your nonsense, that's not a good look for you. One of the biggest emotions that I've had to deal with and a lot of other folks have had to deal with is insurmountable fear, said Tennessee Equality Project's Jace Waller. Governor Bill Lee just signed into law a bill saying teachers are not required to use a student's preferred pronoun when referring to the student if the preferred pronoun is not consistent with student's biological sex. Now, that, that also does not mean that the, the, the bill is not, you know, forcing them to use it. It's not like, oh, you know... 15-year-old Susie Q decides she wants to be a boy and call herself Bobby. It's not like the bill is mandating the te teacher has to, you know, call her a she or whatnot. It's just stating that they are not legally compelled to call them by the preferred pronoun. The teacher then gets to choose. Do I want to honor this or do I not? Which is fine. That's the point of free speech. People can have free speech and if you don't like what they say... Tough rocks. That's that's part of the way the world works. You ain't gonna like everything everyone says. I'm here on the internet right now giving my opinions. Some of y'all don't like that, and that's fine. You do not have to like it. But that is the point of living in a free society, is that people get to say things you don't like. People get to say, and you, you, you get to hear things you don't like. If you do not like it, you do not want to hear it, okay, go somewhere else. Well, the kids have to go to school, all right? If the parents are so on board with, you know, my baby girl needs to be called, I guess my baby boy now, needs to be called by preferred pronoun, well, put them in a different school. Freedom of speech exists, and it is not an infringement on your right for someone else to exercise theirs. So all this bill is doing is, you know, making sure that compelled speech does not become law, which... Hey, that is fine by me. There should be no law compelling speech of any kind, one way or the other, left or right. You know, that's just, it's as simple as that. I would be very upset if there was a law that demanded teachers only use biological sex as the way to refer to kids. Because you know what? 
that would still be a law making uh, speech limited. You have to use certain speech, even if it's speech. That, for example, I don't believe kids can be trans. I don't. I think that uh, kids have very moldable and malleable minds. And if you want to come to that conclusion about yourself once you've moved into the realm of adulthood, go for it. That's totally within your right. But for the time being, keep kids out of it. They've got you know more in life that they need to deal with than you know pronouns. Uh, but if there was a bill that said no, teachers, you have to call students by their biological sex. I would be very much be against that because that would still be a compelled speech law even though it's one that is technically on the side of things I favor. Compelled speech means more to me than any of this pronoun nonsense and I will always take the side of the freedom of speech and the right to free speech. Nothing in this bill will give a teacher the right to bully or harass any child. Uh, Representative Mark Coheran, Republican Inglewood, said during session, I have enough faith in our school teachers to know what that would not happen. Okay, may maybe you're going a bit far putting faith in school teachers. I mean, there's been a lot of not so good things coming out of the public school system the last, I don't know, five years at least. But uh, that being said, I understand what he's saying. It's not like teachers are going to use this as a way to bully children. And if they do, I'll be real, if they do, Oh well, get over it. Once again, that is part of life. We can't go through life being these softies that doesn't have to handle anything difficult. You, you, that, that just turns you into a weak little pussy. I'm gonna be 100% honest. Male, female, doesn't matter. If you go through life without any sort of pushback or expecting anything hard or hearing things you don't want to hear and you react negatively to it, get over it. The 8 billion people in the world, not everyone's gonna have some glorious, happy, happy, rainbow-filled life all the time. People gotta struggle. They gotta hear things they don't like. If the worst thing that happens in your life is you get called a pronoun or a gender that you don't believe you are or whatnot, well, guess what? At least it's not the 70s or the 60s and you're getting shot in the face in a foreign jungle because you were mandated by your government to go there. Shut the hell up. Take your test. If your teacher calls you by a gender or a pronoun that you don't feel like you are, guess what? You'll be out of that school in a few years. You'll be away from that teacher maybe by the next year. Who knows? Just Man up, or woman up, whatever, nut up, don't nut up, have your nuts cut off for half of you, I don't care, point is, deal with it. Cochran, the bill's sponsor, implied the bill as just a piece of free speech legislation. The right of freedom of thought protected by the First Amendment against the state action includes both the right to speak freely and right to refrain from speaking at all, Cochran said. But critics of the law say it borders on free speech that causes significant harm and could set up yet another lawsuit. Tennessee might face an anti-LGBTQ plus bill it passed this session. What was that old phrase, sticks and stones can break your bones but words will never hurt me? Maybe we gotta bring that back because, listen children, and frankly some of you adults, for that matter. Words can't hurt you. And if you're letting words hurt you, I don't know what to say. That's on you. That is your fault. A law protecting free speech is not an inherently anti-LGBTQ plus law. It is a law that protects the speech to be anti-LGBTQ+, but you know what? That's fine. That's what freedom is. People have the freedom to be pro-LGBTQ, to be anti-LGBTQ, to not give a damn about LGBTQ, if we're being completely honest. There are so many people that want to use their free speech to talk about things they actually care about. You know, me, for example, I care about, you know, very different things than the LGBTQ bogus, or at least I used to. You know, I used to be interested in Marvel movies, and but you know what? Those are trash now. I'd want to talk about video games. Now, ga gaming is trash now. I I'd want to talk about the nerdy things that I grew up with that's now finally an accepted culture. But you can't even do that because to talk about that stuff, you got to wade through just the sludge that is this LGBTQ, this, that, and the other. Oh, people want to call Link from Legend of Zelda gay and trans. Shut the hell up. Not everything is for you. Link and gay, Link and trans, and not making someone use your preferred pronoun isn't, you know, a, a violation of your rights or anything like that. It, it's it is so mind-boggling to me that so many of you don't understand the concept of free speech. However, you're A-OK -okay with free speech when someone doesn't use your pronoun and you tell them to go die or burn in hell or you hope that they get hit by a car or something to that effect. So yeah, yeah, you can wish death on folks that don't call you by your gender, but only after you're finished crying because they didn't respect your gender and therefore, you know, hate speech. I would think, I'm just gonna go out on a limb, how is wishing death upon someone you disagree with? not more hateful than just using the wrong three or four letter word.
For the first time in my life, I've had to have conversations with people that care about me, about my safety plan for if I need to leave the state, Wilder said. That's not a conversation that anyone in any state should be having in this country, ever. Oh, get the hell out. I, I guarantee you, I don't know if you're you know, trans or whatnot, but you're absolutely gay if you're a dude being that much of a drama queen. Leave the state. No one is threatening to string you up by your rainbow tassels, buddy. The new law is part of a larger shift the community is seeing around the country as other states like Florida have passed similar legislation. If we follow back to the even last session, the exact same bills were proposed and they were labeled by people who proposed these laws this year as too extreme only last year, Wilder said. And frankly, yeah, these laws might be extreme. I'm not even going to deny they, these laws might be extreme, but you're getting an extreme reaction by these right-wingers because you are pushing for such extreme nonsense yourselves. The extreme begets the extreme. How do you not understand that? Then you got folk like me who are in the middle that do not care about the Democrats or the Republicans who thinks they are both absolute poison and both should be dealt with accordingly. And n trust me, my, my kind of individuals, we wouldn't deal with either Republicans or Democrats in a, in a nice way at all. We, we hate you both, but the point is, when you've got your left-leaning, pro-gay flag, rainbow hat self, screaming for violence against people just for simply using the wrong pro pronouns, which does happen, you call for the deaths and, and, and the, yeah, the, the self-knocking off of uh, a lot of individuals simply for using the wrong three or four letter words, when those sort of people see on Twitter go die over and over enough times, yeah, no kidding they're going to get a bit extreme, because here's the thing that a lot of you don't want to accept. Here's what, what the Rainbow Movement, what uh, the Lucky Charms gang is not a fan of hearing. They started this. The vast majority of folk were A-OK -okay when, you know, gays got the right to marry. Like, was, yeah, sweet, gays get the right to marry? Awesome. Um, I, I'm not, but, you know, I don't even think straight people should really be, I think the government should get out of marriage. Marriage should not be a government thing. Point is, that's a discussion for another time. When gays got the right to marry, the vast majority of us were like, yes, good, equal rights. Because that was one of the last few bastions of genuine inequality. And as someone who does like to see equality for everyone, regardless, as long as their rights are not being infringed upon, I thought it was fantastic to see the legalization of gay marriage. Uh, but then you want to start going into women's bathrooms when, you know, you, you still, like, have no hormones and you look like an actual dude. After you cl talk about safe spaces, like, oh, I need a safe space. Now you're talking about invading women's safe spaces. Yeah, no kidding people are going to be a bit reactionary and start making more pro-free speech laws to make sure that you are you know, kept at bay. You don't get to have everything. The whole point of life is give and take, okay? Some things you get, some you don't. You work with what you have, and you move on. You get over it. But, you know, those are just my opinions. Let me know yours in the comments below, or let me know on Twitter where you can find me at Bolt the Word. And please do subscribe. I am a nerdy news channel. I usually do nerdy news every day. You know, today, not really one of those days, but I'm sure I'll get back to it tomorrow. I am a nerdy news channel. I am almost at the 1,000 subscriber mark. I would love to get there by the end of the month, so by all means, please do subscribe. Uh, we're so close. I can only do this because of you. That being said, it's all here in the Nerdosphere, and this has been Words of Paradise.